high again. So because of not interacting with, with this type of content, this video will be the last video in this course. And then we will move on on another types of videos about laptop motherboard repair. So in the first video, we have seen, as you can see, the table of contents where we have seen many ter terminologies. And then we have seen, as you can see, the block diagram of the CPU. We have seen also the power sequence and the charge IC circuit where we have the DC jack, the charge IC and the battery connector. We have seen also the 3 volt and 5 volt power circuit and of course the CPU circuit. So we're gonna see in this video other circuit. So let's see the first circuit here. This is basically the plus 2.5 volt circuit. So here we have IC always you should find, you should look for the controller IC. This is the controller IC that will generate this voltage, this 2.5 volt. Okay, so here we have the charge IC. This is basically the input signal here. The input signal is just 5 volt, not, a, not 19 volt. So this is the input signal. Here we have the IC and here we have double MOSFETs as you can see we have FDE's 6986S so this is a double MOSFET and here we have inductor and we have capacitors here this is basically an electrolytic capacitor this could be electrolytic capacitor or tantalum capacitor and here we have the pad where we can check whether we get 2.5 volt or not okay so always all circuit in the motherboard has the same working principle so so if you want we can take a look we can search for this kind of mosfets in the internet we have here the fde6986 so let's go to google and download this the data sheet for this MOSFET. So we can just go to Google and type FDE6986S. So as you can see here, we have data sheet. So let's click data sheet and let's pick the first result. As you can see, we have here FDE6986 data sheet. So here, as you can see, we have here download. So let's click over here and here we go. As you can see, we have the data sheet. Okay, so you can just go to this icon over here and click over it and you can download the data sheet. So let's uncover this data sheet. So we have here FDE6986S, the same part number. This is basically a GL notebook power supply and channel. This is N channel MOSFET. Okay, so this is N channel DL notebook power supply. So let's say the general description. So the FDA 6986S is designed to replace two single SO 8 MOSFETs. Okay, so it is designed to replace two MOSFETs and should get diode in synchronous DC to DC power supplies. Okay, so here, as you can see, we have basically in our schematic, the DC will have here 5 volt. The 5 volt will be converted to 2.5 volt. Okay, that's why we use this kind of MOSFET. So this is basically the GL MOSFET, as you can see here. And here, as you can see, we have its schematic, as you can see. So here, as you can see in this file, of course, you will find many characteristics, electrical characteristics, including temperature characteristics, the limits of the voltage and current, and so on. So here we have the same working principle. So for 1.5 volt to generate 1.5 volt, we have here another control IC, as you can see. So here we have the control IC, okay? Here we have two MOSFETs. We have two MOSFETs, two separated MOSFETs, but in this case here we have a dual MOSFET, okay? So here we have inductor and always the chemical capacitors or 
10 tenon capacitors for filtering purposes and then we will get 1.5 volt you can check whether you get 1.5 volt or not here in this part so let's move to the next page here basically in the next page we have the ram this is basically the ram circuit here we have the plus 1.8 volts we need of course a control ic this is the control ic its reference is u5013 okay here we have the input signal as you can see plus 5 volt so here we have two mosfets this is basically the v part this is the 19 volt it will pass through this mosfet and then here we will get do 1.8 volt of course this voltage will pass through this inductor in order to increase the current and then pass through these capacitors in order to be filtered and then we will get plus 1.8 volt for the ram here basically we have another circuit always the same working principle this is basically the plus vccp so the plus vccp is the voltage for chipsets for the CPU, for Northbridge, graphic card, and ICH. Its value is about 1.05. Okay, so here this is the IC, the control IC that is responsible to generate this voltage. So here we have the V bat, as you can see, the 19 volt. We have two MOSFETs, we have the IC, we have a protection diode, as you can see, its anode is connected to the ground and the cathode is connected to the power rail so two MOSFETs we have here inductor we have capacitors especially the 10 tenem capacitor for filtering purposes and we have the pad the test point and then we will get the VCC so here we have another circuit this circuit basically is to generate plus 0.9 volt here as you can see we have 1.8 volt and we have the half of 1.8 volt is 0.9 volt this is the vtt okay so this is basically the power for ram terminals okay vtt voltage for terminals okay so this is the main power for ddr2 ram and this is the vtt the ram for terminals so we have this ic is the ic that will be charged to generate this voltage the input signal here is just as you can see 1.8 volt as you can see so we have vldo in input so 1.8 volt will be divided and then we will get as you can see the vtt here we will get 0.9 volt okay